Hey all, Matt Long Realtor here. Today's neighborhood tour is going to be the new build community of Beaumont. Beaumont is in Wildwood, Florida, adjacent to the villages, very close by. Actually, I'm choosing this entrance uh, for a reason. Actually, this road bisects the community. On the left, you have your residential single-family homes. On the other side, you're gonna have your townhomes. So if you're tuning in here and you're not looking for townhomes, it's okay. I'm gonna start with townhomes on this tour. It'll be the shortest portion of this tour, but I'll give you all the information that you need. So as you can see off to the left here will be phase one, two, and three of single-family homes here in Beaumont. And then just after we pass under this beautiful oak tree with the moss hanging from it, it's a good idea to keep that tree. It's a nice tree. As you see here now, we have the townhomes. These townhomes come in two different models here in Beaumont. And this is a, a DR Horton community. Uh, all specs here in Florida, they have changed all to brick concrete brick built all the way up. They don't do second story wood anymore other than you see the, the wood roof. These homes just here to the left are available now as well as a set that is off over to the right here as we turn on to Loblolly Lane. These are available now. These next section of homes off to the left will be available in July, August, August, September. And then they will move on from there. There features two different model options here in uh, these townhomes. Prices are in the low to mid 200s for a uh, single family. Uh, okay, here it is. Yeah, it's in the 180s, 190s, and low 200s for these. All of them are three bedroom, two and a half bath, and they're all two story homes. They all come with one garage. And you have the Vale and Glen models are what will be available. So for the town homes, there's going to be uh, 134 townhomes built all together in this community and uh, you're looking at a monthly monthly dues for homeowners association at $110 a month this is, will be considered a gated community over here uh, the CDD is 1782.78 or breaks down to about $148 and 57 cents a month. The HOA does include the H HOA and CDD management, basic lawn maintenance, pool, cabana, street lights, pond, wetland, and common area maintenance, ARB approved. Also, you're so close to the villages, you want a golf cart, you have a golf cart. It's close over here. We're looking at over there, that's Lowe's. You have uh, the ABC Liquor, you have Wendy's, you have Super K. Uh, a lot of stores right close by here. This portion of Wildwood, not far from Brownwood, not too far even from Sumter Landing, a few minutes drive. These gates that we're heading into the single family air, uh, home built area, open around 6.30 in the morning, close about eight o'clock at night. So as you can see here, this is going to be uh, the main complex for the community. Um, turn off in here a little bit, just to give you kind of an idea, uh, look at it. We'll have your the main part of the building, have your recreational area with gym, uh, places where you could rent for your uh, birthday parties and stuff like that 
uh, straight ahead you can see the fencing that's here we're looking at pickleball uh, racquetball courts tennis uh, and also just off here you're putting in a beautiful swimming pool so that'll be included in the community they're trying to get this you know done by July August if they can uh, as we move on out of here we're gonna head into phase one phase one is currently the only phase that actually has a road so phase two and phase three do not have roads paved yet I'm not gonna drive into those phases they are estimating between a year and a half to two years before they get into phase two this is considered a three to four year build out per uh, building agents we got the clubhouse off over here to the left. This is a four bedroom model, the clubhouse is. And Burkhardt and Matthew in there. If you uh, stop by and see them, let them know. Matthew Long with Keller Williams pointed you in this direction. A lot of the homes here on this on this street here, it's, it's Penrose Place. Uh, these, this, this first phase are sold. So there's four families that are already moved in or living in the neighborhood. So Penrose Place, as you see, I'll stop here. As you see, we'll continue up over this way and around, right? And then we'll end at a cul-de-sac. Sunshine Drive is what's available right now. Again, all the homes in this community we're looking at all three and four bedroom homes, two bath, one story homes, two cars garage. Prices are in the 230s, 240, 250, 260s uh, currently. Here in, we're in June, mid June. So, this section that we're looking at right now is supposed to be done. And available for move-ins in July and this section about halfway down the street here there's gonna be a, a yellow uh, yellow fire hydrant just on the other side of the yellow fire hydrant, you're gonna see a, a walkway a path like a golf cart path it's coming up on it now see off here to the left just past the sold sign we got these golf cart path right here to this to this point by July this after this will be the next phase of the building for phase one and it comes down to the end of the road here where you see this the, the trailer at and just right along here and that's the end portion of phase one parallel to this to the right and to the left or the north and the south will be two two other roads that Penrose Place will wrap all the way around, like I said, and we'll end up here. And I'll take a I'll take a turn up here so you can kind of you know uh, paint that picture in your mind of where it's where it'll be. We'll turn right here on June Lane, and right up here, right up here, we're gonna see. Penrose Place, come out over here, up to here, and there will be a cul-de-sac up here. And that is where that will end. June Lane comes back towards us, heading north and south. All that, like I said, that section, that's going to be phase two. It will not be ready, they said, probably for development for a year and a half to two years. The full build-out, they're looking at three to four year build out. Now as we head towards the second gated interest exit for the single family home area, we're coming up on where, again, the road isn't there yet, but you can pull up here real quick. Idea this, this will be phase three. Indigo Street, Indigo Street, rather. Laugh at that, please. 
laugh at that. <laughs> oh, Matthew. Anyways, so we're looking at uh, amenities and HOA fees and a CD fee over here as well. Uh, HOA and amenities is all rolled into one. You're looking at $130.45 a month currently. The Beaumont CDD for the what they're calling the fee 40s, which is uh, you're looking at $2,420.40 annually or $200. 170 monthly in the 50s their 50s section is about a hundred and forty dollars more per month so that that's what you're looking at here so just so we know just so you know the their, their HOA fee it includes grass cutting blowing uh, maintenance it includes internet high-speed internet and cable uh, which is provided by spectrum from what they told me um, they have a pool like I said a pool clubhouse fitness center they have a uh, bocce ball court that's what it was bocce ball not racquetball bocce ball pickleball um, covers the gate maintenance you know uh, bulk agreements, pond, wetland areas, common maintenance areas, street lights, ADR, approved. Clearly, uh, they, get, they, allow gate, they allow fences over there too. You have to do, they have a uh, metal fencing that's required. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take a right here at Penrose Place and kind of show you towards, because there's three entrances really to this place. Where we came in, the area straight ahead from would have been straight ahead it takes you over to Lowe's and then you have uh, so I guess technically this is four this takes you back out to um, County Road 466A there's a nice little roundabout here if you ever in this area get to love roundabouts learn how to use roundabouts I'm gonna do a video on roundabouts this to the right, you see the wall here. That's where the townhomes are. They didn't they didn't know exactly what this area to the left was gonna be yet. It's probably gonna be commercial from what I've understood. Uh, which would make sense. That's why the setback for the town's homes are where they're at. The next one, entrance exit to this community would be right up here. Then I'm gonna turn back around so I can drive through the townhome area one more time just to kind of give you a final idea of it. So there's one as well, again, coming off of 466A. I don't like these videos to be much more than 15 minutes long. So I'm gonna, but I wanna go back through here again, just so you can kind of see. Because again, it's split into two halves and I came in on that main road uh, the way I did initially for that reason to so you can see two halves so all this to either side right or left will end up being townhomes which is great for this area and it's great opportunities not for just people that want to move and live to the area but the townhomes give an opportunity to buyers that are in that affordable price range which is really like under two hundred and fifty thousand dollars uh, so it gives you that option to purchase and own, but also gets you in the in, in the spot to where now it helps investors. Now they're here to the left. I'm gonna turn here. There's gonna be a pool and a cabana over here as well. So this is gonna have a separate pool and cabana area than the than, than the single family homes. That will be separate. They'll have that as well. So if you're in the market and you're looking for uh, a property, townhomes are very much an option, but there's not a ton of them in the area. So 
being able to get in under 200,000 in some cases in your purchase price and they told me with these these are a DR Horton Express hybrid it, for those who are familiar with it um, which you're getting more of the upgrades all the townhomes come with stone countertops you're getting tile throughout you know uh, a few things that Express homes don't typically have Express homes are gonna have the carpeted uh, carpets in the bedrooms living areas stuff like that so but if you have any questions on any of these like I said my number is 352-403-3730 find me online at mattlongrealtor.com everywhere on social media at mattlongrealtor so be sure to like subscribe follow email register like heart emoji all that good stuff and I'll do whatever I can to help you out I appreciate it